how did this bronze one player go to gold three in under 160 games? I'm going to give you a hint. It's a strategy that I literally recommend in every single profile review I do. And it's the reason why I've been able to help hundreds of players gold and below climb to platinum and diamond. Small champion pool, one tricking a champion ideally. It's the key to success. And in this profile view today, we're going to be looking at an account who has executed that perfectly, what they need to do to get to diamond four and what they need to keep on doing so that they can eventually get to that goal rank. Now, before we get into this profile view, if you're interested in getting your own profile viewed, please check out the link in the YouTube description below, as well as if you're interested in the coaching solution I talk about towards the end of this video, you can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me in the link in the YouTube description below. Let's get into the profile view. Let's get into it. So currently you are gold three with a 62% win rate and you were bronze one last season. So First of all, congratulations, you've done really well. And we can see here that a lot of your success has come from your Malzahar, which is great to see. The fact that you've been able to play 120 games on him says to me that you're serious about climbing, you've found a champion that you wanna climb with. And what I would honestly recommend is your number one strategy and your number one way that is gonna have the highest probability of you getting to diamond is to continue playing Malzahar and one-tricking him. He is never gonna fall off. Nemesis plays him in EU West in the top challenger ranks. Malzahar is a really good champion. He's super strong right now and he will never go out of the meta because he's never gonna get nerfed because he's not in that um, focus area for Ryan at the moment and he can climb you to where you want to get to, which is Diamond 4, and then you can keep playing him beyond that. So the first thing is Champion Pool, play as much Malzahar as possible. Every time you get mid lane, play Malzahar, unless it's banned. Then you, what you need to do is really figure out what's your second champion going to be. I can see you've been playing a bit of Rise, but to be honest, you zero, you know, your four games, 0% win rate, maybe let's think about something like your Lux or your Vega in the mid lane instead. Uh, you could also go something like a Nivea, which has a similar-ish play style to Malzahar, quite short range, very good at controlling and pushing waves after level six, and also a really good team fighter. Something like that you could really enjoy, and particularly because Anivia is really strong with Rod of Aegis, it's a lot easier to play than Rise. You might have a little bit more success than that. With that, sorry. So the first thing I'd say is that champion pool needs to be super set in stone. You need to be playing as much Malzahar as you pos as possible. Whether you think you get counterpicked or not, I don't care. When you have a 66% win rate on champion, you need to play it as much as you can because comfort over counter, comfort over meta. Your most comfortable pick is always going to beat the pick that you think is a better counter pick or a better into this matchup. Trust me. I have seen so many gold players fail to climb to platinum to diamond because they don't take this advice. They don't one trick the champion they're the best at and they end up trying to expand their champion pool onto champions they're not good at or do they try and counter pick and all they do is counter pick themselves and decrease their win rate, ruin their MMR and then become hard stuck gold like every other season. So that's the first thing about your champion pool. Second thing is when we play mid lane in solo queue, we're gonna get auto filled roughly 20% of our games. And that means, you know, two in 10 or one in five games, we're going to be auto filled and therefore we need a really good pocket pick that we can play. So what I'd recommend for someone like you is playing mid, um, prime, sorry, queuing up mid primary support secondary because you've got a really good Seraphine. And what I would recommend is just play Seraphine every single time you get auto filled support. Again, unless it gets banned and then play something maybe like your Lux. Uh, you can even play Vega support. It's quite good. Lux, Vega. But ideally, Malzahar is your primary champion. Seraphine is your secondary champion for when you get auto filled. And that is literally the only champion pool you need. You would literally need those two champions. That's all you need. And I guarantee you, you will cover about 98% of your games with that because the chances of you getting um, not mid lane and then Seraphine banned is very low. It would be like a one to 2% chance. So one in every 100 games, that's fine. We can deal with that. That's not gonna ruin our MMR. Awesome. The third thing I wanna look at is your kill participation. It is way too low for a mid laner to only have a 37% kill participation when you're playing Malzahar, which is a really, really good team fighter. Malzahar isn't a split push champion. You might play him like that, but as you get higher and higher rank, you're gonna understand that you need to group, you need to team fight, and you need to be in at least 
45% of your team's kills as a mid laner. If you are not in or you do not have a 45% kill participation as a mid laner, you are not using your influence, your lead, and your gold in the most efficient way to win more games. The fact that you have a 37% win um, kill participation and your win rates drop to 47% says a lot to me. It says that yes, you are, you know, you start a bronze one and now you're gold three, so you are versing better and better players, and so you're struggling a little bit more. But we can still see that your Malzahar win rate is by far your highest. And so we, again, we need to cut out these champions. But anyway, keep playing Mal's, but you need to get in more kills because when we have really low kill participation, we also have very low win rates. It's a very popular, or it's a very common, I should say, correlation between mid laners. When they start losing more games, chances are they're not getting in enough fights. And that can be a combination of things, but generally you just need to group more. You need to get in more team fights. You need to go to every dragon. You need to go to every baron. And whenever your team looks like it's fighting, just group. Don't try and split push. Don't try and TP into the middle of the fight. It's gold. Just get their group. The first team that groups wins. The first team that wins that team fight generally wins. The first team that gets to dragon or gets to baron first generally wins. It's just statistics and all you have to do is follow those rules, and I guarantee you're going to be able to keep climbing, particularly when you play Malzahar. Now, look at your other stats. You have a really good gold difference at 15, which I really like. Um, the fact that you're up about a 600 gold on Malzahar, Malzahar's laning phase is arguably his weakest moment in the game. His first one to two recalls is when he is weakest in the game. And so the fact that you're able to generate a 600 gold um, advantage on average in 15 minutes, Mika, is a really good sign that you're not done climbing yet. And you've got, yes, a long way to go from gold three to diamond four. So you're going from the top 23% to the top 2%, but it's not impossible. And you've got yourself really set up here for success. Now, if you've listened to this profile view and you're still like, well, I feel like I'm really struggling, like I'm in gold three now and it's getting a little hard, or you want to accelerate your learning, you want to just get faster at climbing, you want to make sure you're not developing any bad habits and you want someone to look at your game review, I would recommend some coaching. Now, for someone like you, I would recommend regular coaching, starting off with like maybe one game review a month, as well as statistic tracking and goal setting and monthly focus areas. And we do that as a service. So if you're interested in something like that, where we have one of our challenger coaches follow you month on month, give you a 90 minute game review, record it so you can watch it in your own time, plus give you all the notes you need to improve and focus on for the next month. If you're interested in something like that, Mika, please, once you've watched this, let me know on Discord and we can go from there. Overall, mate, you've done really well. Bronze one to gold three in uh, the first half of the season is really impressive. To do that in under 160 games or so is really, really good. The fact that you've got a 62% win rate means you're not done climbing yet. Your natural skill ceiling is higher than gold three, I would predict. And yeah, you're, you've got a long way to go. And yes, coaching can help, but also um, you may be able to do it on your own. So make sure you consider both the options and then yeah, chat to me once you've watched this regardless. Anyway, cheers, good luck on the rift and I'll talk to you soon.